you ever heard of the rainwater season? No, it's not just about umbrellas and rain boots. It's the second solar term of spring, a season where the air is moist, not dry, setting the perfect stage for regulating the spleen and stomach. It's fascinating, you know, how nature aligns with our bodily functions. The spleen and stomach often overlooked are actually the acquired basis of our bodies. Picture them as the engine rooms, ensuring the smooth operation of our body's machinery. When they function completely, they ensure the sufficient biochemistry of qi and blood. Qi, the life force or energy flow within us, and blood, the vital liquid carrying oxygen and nutrients, are both essential for the strength of our body organs. Think of it this way. Imagine our body as a grand orchestra with each organ playing its part. The spleen and stomach are the conductors coordinating the ensemble to create the symphony of our body's metabolism. When they are in harmony, they promote and regulate the body's metabolism, ensuring the coordination and balance of our life activities. But as with any orchestra, if the conductors are weak, the music falls into chaos. Similarly, the weakness of the spleen and stomach can be the main cause of a multitude of diseases. It's like a domino effect. Once they falter, everything else follows. Yet nature has its ways of helping us restore this balance. The rainwater season, with its moist air, provides an excellent opportunity to regulate our spleen and stomach. It's like nature's own spa treatment for our internal organs, a time to rejuvenate and restore. So the rainwater season isn't just about the weather, it's a time for bodily regulation and balance, especially for our spleen and stomach. As we delve deeper into understanding this, we'll also explore the foods that can help us make the most of this season. But that's a story for another scene. For now, let's appreciate the rainwater season for its role in our health and well-being. The spleen and stomach are not just two organs in our body, they are the hub of our body's movement of qi. Let's dive deeper into the role of the spleen and stomach. These two organs are the acquired basis of our body. Working as a duo to ensure our body's qi and blood biochemistry is sufficiently maintained. Now you may ask, what is qi? In traditional Chinese medicine, qi is a vital energy or life force that circulates within our body, playing a crucial role in maintaining our health and vitality. The spleen and stomach are like the captains of a ship, steering the vessel that is our body. They regulate our metabolism, ensuring the smooth sailing of our body's functions. When the spleen and stomach are strong, they ensure that our body's chemical source is sufficient, which in turn strengthens the function of our other organs. Their coordination can promote and regulate the metabolism of the body, ensuring the harmony and balance of life activities. Imagine a well-oiled machine functioning seamlessly, with each part working in harmony with the others. That's what our body is like when our spleen and stomach are in good health. However, like any good story, there's a flip side to this. Weakness in the spleen and stomach can lead to a domino effect, causing various diseases and health issues. It's like a ship in a storm with a weak captain and crew. It's bound to face difficulties. That's why it's vital to keep these organs healthy and robust to prevent any potential health problems. So how does the rainwater season come into the picture? Well, this particular season is one of the best times to regulate the spleen and stomach. During this time, the air is moist and not dry, providing a conducive environment to nourish these organs. Understanding the importance of the spleen and stomach, we can better appreciate the rainwater season's role in our health. It's not just about the change in weather or the arrival of spring, it's about the opportunity to give our body the care and nourishment it needs. Now, how can we make the most of the rainwater season to regulate our spleen and stomach? Food is the answer. This season is a prime time to nourish these organs and the right diet can make all the difference. Let's start with sweet foods. Now, this doesn't mean you should start devouring cakes and cookies. We're talking about natural, wholesome, sweet foods like honey. Honey is a fantastic option. It's clear, rich, and can help regulate your spleen and stomach. You can enjoy it in a cup of warm tea, drizzle it over your breakfast cereal, or even eat a spoonful raw. And there's another star of the rainwater season diet, porridge. Yes, the humble bowl of porridge. It's mainly rice supplemented by water, which makes it easy for your body to absorb. This simple dish is a potent tool to tonify your spleen and stomach. It's gentle on your system, yet provides the nutrients you need to keep your spleen and stomach in top shape. 
Now you might be thinking porridge, really? But hear me out, porridge is versatile. You can jazz it up with a variety of toppings to suit your palate. A handful of berries, a sprinkle of seeds, a dash of cinnamon or a swirl of honey. The possibilities are endless. And it's not just about what you add to the porridge, it's also about the type of rice you use. A whole grain rice, for instance, is an excellent choice. It's packed with fiber, which aids digestion, and it's also a great source of essential nutrients like magnesium, which supports the healthy function of your spleen and stomach. But porridge and honey aren't the only players here. Other foods like needle mushrooms, soybean sprouts, and quail eggs can also be beneficial during the rainwater season. These foods are rich in nutrients that can help support your spleen and stomach, and they're delicious too. So, don't underestimate the power of your diet during the rainwater season. A few simple changes can go a long way in supporting your spleen and stomach. And remember, so a bowl of warm porridge can do wonders for your spleen and stomach during the rainwater season. Porridge isn't the only food you can enjoy during the rainwater season. Let's now explore other fantastic foods that can do wonders for our spleen and stomach during this time of year. First on the list, we have needle mushrooms, also known as enoki mushrooms. These stringy fungi are not only low in calories and fat, but they're also packed with essential nutrients. Rich in dietary fiber, they aid in digestion, ensuring that our spleen and stomach are functioning smoothly. Plus, they're an excellent source of antioxidants, which further promotes overall health. Next up, we have soybean sprouts. These crunchy delights are a powerhouse of nutrition. They're loaded with protein, which is crucial for tissue repair and growth. Moreover, they're a great source of vitamins and minerals like vitamin C and iron that are known to boost our immune system. And let's not forget, they're high in fiber too, making them another excellent food for our digestive system. Finally, we have quail eggs. These tiny eggs might be small in size, but they're mighty in benefits. They're rich in essential vitamins and minerals, such as vitamin B12, iron, and selenium. These nutrients are known to support a healthy spleen and stomach. Plus, quail eggs are a great source of protein, which aids in repairing body tissues, including the spleen and stomach. All these foods are not only beneficial, but also versatile. You can incorporate them into your meals in a variety of ways. Toss soybean sprouts into a salad, Add needle mushrooms into a stir-fry, or make a delicious omelette with quail eggs. The possibilities are endless. Remember, the key to good health is balance. While these foods are beneficial, it's essential to maintain a balanced diet and not overindulge in any single type of food. With these foods in your diet, you're on your way to a healthier spleen and stomach this rainwater season. So we've learned quite a bit about the rainwater season today, haven't we? The rainwater season, the second solar term of spring, is not just about the weather. It's a time when the air is moist, perfect for regulating two crucial organs in our body, the spleen and stomach. Let's take a moment to remind ourselves why these organs are so important. The spleen and stomach are considered the acquired basis of our body. When they function efficiently, the biochemistry of qi and blood is sufficient. This essentially means that our body has enough energy and nutrients to function optimally. The spleen and stomach are also the hub of the movement of qi, the life force or energy flow in our bodies. When the spleen and stomach are strong and the chemical source is sufficient, the function of body organs is robust. Essentially, a healthy spleen and stomach ensure that our body works at its best, promoting and regulating our metabolism and ensuring the coordination and balance of our life activities. A weak spleen and stomach, however, can lead to various diseases. Now, let's recap on the types of food that are beneficial for the spleen and stomach during the rainwater season. The season encourages us to indulge in more sweet foods, such as honey and other clear and rich foods, to regulate our spleen and stomach. Porridge, primarily rice supplemented by water, is also a great option as it's easy to absorb and nourishes the spleen and stomach. Other beneficial foods include needle mushrooms, soybean sprouts and quail eggs. In conclusion, the rainwater season presents a unique opportunity for us to focus on our health, especially our spleen and stomach. It's a time to embrace the rain, adjust our diets and nourish our bodies. Remember, the rainwater season is more than just about the weather. It's a time for us to focus on our health, particularly our spleen and stomach. So embrace the rain and eat wisely.